Okay, we've got the uh, top of the guitar all glued together. We did that in the last step, and so what we're going to do now is lay out the shape of the guitar. So my buddy John has made this nifty jig that's got the outline of the guitar, and I've got it set up uh, on the uh, boards that we glued up last time, and all we have to do is take a pencil and go around the outline of it here. That's going to give us the basic shape of the guitar. Now that we've got that, uh, this can come out of the way. We'll use that again later on. And John has made kind of a hillbilly jig. What we're going to do now is lay out a cut line so that we say, stay on the outside diameter of this guitar shape here. So I'm going to just follow the line and kind of get fairly close. So now we've got the cut line surrounding the guitar. The next step is to take uh, uh, this layout or template. Uh, this, this shows us where all of the bracing for the guitar is going to go. So what we're going to do is uh, center this up uh, on our original layout line. And we're just going to mark all of the bracing positions. Uh, we've got uh, both the bracing for the front and the back of the guitar on here, so uh, that's that's what's going to happen now. Okay, so we've made the dots. Uh, from the dots, we then drew uh, lines to show where all of the bracing goes for the inside of the top. Uh, so we're done with the template now. Let me set that aside. And the next step is the, uh, then to turn it over and we want to lay out where the, uh, where the hole is going to go for the uh, sound hole of the guitar. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, set the template back on here. We're going to get it all centered up. and. Just going to go ahead and trace the outline of the guitar again on this side. We got that. And then uh, the last step in this process, we did uh, punch a hole through the guitar. Uh, and that's where the center of the sound hole is going to be, so we're going to just take a, a pencil compass and use that as a way to lay out where the sound hole is going to be. Got a little bit sloppy there. Okay, so we're done with this step. And so, you can get the rosette. Uh, and then we can also uh, determine where the rosette's going to be. So the next step is uh, we'll then use the rough cut lines. We'll cut out the shape of the guitar and then uh, I'll start working on the rosette and we'll do the layout for that later. And uh, we'll come back and do some more video when we're ready to get that part done.